Yo, what's pop? And I'm back on Showdown with a new team I made around Glaceon, which puts in a lot of work against so many different types of Pokemon. Before I show you all the team, I'd like for each and every one of you to leave a comment. Tell me what is your favorite damage boosting item? I'd like to know. There's actually quite a lot of them, so I look forward to hearing from you all as always. So as you can see, we have the choice specs. Nice damage boosting Glaceon here with uh, four attacks. Enough speed to outrun a, uh, I guess the base, uh, whatever, Azu is like 50, Adam in nature. So that could be pretty fun. And look at these uh, scroller things. I think they've changed. I don't know if it's just me. <laughs> but um, anyways, this special attack here is actually equivalent to Kiram. So it hits really hard. So why would you use this thing over Kiram? It's uh, not weak to fairy. I think it has, I think it has fewer weaknesses, right? Maybe. But um, but yeah, it's pretty cool in rain because you're you weaken the fire attacks and then you're able to destroy Pokemon like Heatran and stuff with Weather Ball because it becomes a water type attack, and that's always fun because um, there's a, there's been a lot of Steel types like Heatran, Magnezone and stuff that have tried to switch into Glaceon and get destroyed by Weather Ball in the rain, and um, I'm excited to use it because I think it's been a while since I've used a Glaceon in OU, probably a couple generations now, so I wanted to bring it back and use it in the current generation. Um, Pelipper, of course, you know, we, have, we got the rain and stuff for this team with Defog, and because this team is kind of weak to hazards, yeah, I, I have Defog on this, and I also have a Magic Bounce user in the back, so it could be pretty nice. Um, of course, Barrascuda is there for flip turning, so we could flip turn out a Pokemon like Slowbro, Tangrowth and stuff, go right into Glaceon, and then click Freeze Dry. Freeze is amazing. Like this move here is very, very spammable versus a lot of different teams. And um, yeah, I, I guess I have Shadow Ball just for Pokemon like Tapu Lele, just to hit it really hard and other such Pokemon. It's just a, just a good coverage move overall. But um, yeah, we have Zapdos as a Rillaboom check. Nice Kartana check as well. Three attacks plus Roost. Um, Ferrothorn for rocks. I don't have an electric immunity on this team. I couldn't fit one on this team, but I have a Stealth Rocks Ferrothorn. It's a really good sponge, I guess, on certain mons, and good Rocky Helmet, Iron Barbs, Chip on a lot of different Pokemon. And because I have Nuzzle and I have Static, I'm running Iron Head, so I don't have I don't have to have the negative effects of Gyro Ball when a Pokemon is slowed by our uh, our moves. And uh, yeah, Hatterene is there for Magic Bounce. Very good Pokemon. Calm Mind two attacks plus Nuzzle. Uh, I'm running Nuzzle because I can slow things down. Potential Paralysis is always fun, especially to speed up Glaceon a bit, because that thing is a very hard hitter. But that's going to be the squad. Let's just go ahead and hop into our first game. Uh, see how we do with this team. Hopefully we can make Glaceon put in work. I've been testing this team a bit. Only lost on this account. Maybe just some hack snoobs here and there. But it's been solid overall. This guy's team is super weak to this Pokemon. My lord. I'm going to Ice Beam turn one. Just gauge the damage on Chansey, which is pretty good. Pretty good damage. Yeah, go ahead and get bounced back. Go to double up into Glaceon. And then, uh, probably freeze dry this turn. Get some extra damage off. Go into Barrascuda. I think flip turn out is the play. Pex does not have a helmet, which is good. Which is very, very good. Alright, I'm gonna go Pelipper to get the rain up. As he does Seismic Toss here, let's you turn out into Hatterene. Go out into Glaceon here. I think I'll go Ferrothorn now. Let's get let's knock off this thing actually. You know what? Chansey's being annoying. Let's knock it off. I'm gonna go Hatterene here in case he decides to get some T spikes up. Yeah, you already know. You already know. That's what you love to see. Sashok for some damage. And then, uh, gonna go Glaceon here. Yup, yup. Gonna Ice Beam now. Get rid of the Tornadus, and Tornadus is gone. So first Pokemon down. That's uh, quite amazing, quite amazing, I must say. Gonna go Ferrothorn here. He gets hurt by the barbs. You love to see it. If I knock off this thing as a Violet, it's gonna be amazing, but he's not letting me. For some reason, he just does not want to let me. I'm going to Calm Mind up here, and then just Psy Shock this for some damage. He'll knock me out here, but guess what? I get to go into Bear Scuda, flip turn out. So if he wants to heal this thing back up, he's going to have to uh, 
sack something. <laughs> He's gonna have to sack something else. Yeah, otherwise it's gone. It, the freeze doesn't, does not even matter if the two would KO. And I think Glaceon literally 6-0s his stall team. Or pretty much the stall team, right? Like, this is a Defog Torn. Don't know what this Hydreigon is, but Toxapex is gone. And then, uh, yeah, we just get up Rain, I think. Get the Rain up. This is not even a Sand Hippo, so then we can just... Uh, yeah, we just sack this. So he actually decides to do that instead, which I'm perfectly fine with. Because we, now we go Barrasquita in close combat. Um, that is a lot of damage, but guess what? <laughs> guess what decides to come in now? Glaceon. Um, at this point in time, we can Ice Beam. Yeah, Ice Beam that. Knock it out. Three turns of rain left. What do we want to do? Let's sack Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn sack here is beautiful. Um, he has leftovers. But it's not a problem. Because Barrasquita is still faster. <laughs> It is still faster. Yeah, that's gone. Freeze dry, freeze dry, win the game. Um, so all we gotta do here is we go Pelipper, Defog this away. And then you turn out into Glaceon. I'm gonna freeze dry twice. Actually, I'm gonna Ice Beam in case, in case this thing lives. Let's Ice Beam here to win the game. Could have also weather ball too, but you already know. We're just out here. You know, we're just out here making sure that uh, those fat stall teams don't stand a chance against Glaceon. That's what we're here to do. And you all saw the first game. It put in the finest of work. Let's move on to that second one now. Um, it's exactly what you love to see, you know. The fantastic Glaceon. So now... Honestly, this looks like another Glaceon lead, if I'm being honest, you know, and I am always honest. This looks like another Glaceon lead. <laughs> Blacephalon, ooh. He's gonna Shadow Ball here, yep. I'll go ahead and take that, and I'm gonna go ahead and Shadow Ball you. <laughs> ah, I had a feeling you wouldn't be clicking a fire move there. Go ahead and knock that out. So immediate elimination of Blacephalon is amazing because our team, as you can see, does not have the best Shadow Ball switch-ins. This is why I have Hatterene with a Kasib Berry because our team is weak to certain Shadow Ball mods. This is where we go Pelipper. So versus Volcarona, you always go Pelipper first, U-turn out. Get the U-turn, go Barrasquita and flip turn is always the play. I'll, unless, actually, well, this one, we can actually go for a liquidation to knock it out. So that's always nice. Um, here, what do we do? Could go into Ferrothorn on Surging Strikes potentially. Yep. Oh, but he has protective pads though. I see, I see. He is protective pads. What do we want to do? I guess getting up Stealth Rocks is better, but unfortunately we cannot. Hurricane looks like the best play here. Honestly, it looks like we can just destroy this thing. And getting rid of our Sheaf was amazing. Um, I think we'll just Thunder Bisharp because that, that Pokemon is a threat. Thunder the Bisharp. Don't think he go Landorus or anything either. Ooh, it lived. That's crazy. We paralyze it, full paralyze. That's unfortunate for him. Very unfortunate. Even then, I think we still would win the game, but either way. Um, all we gotta do here is sack Pelipper. He's a Dragon Dance set. Oh, shoot. This could be bad. I'm gonna Scald. It's not bad anymore. <laughs> so the worst case, um, Hatterene can take a hit because of the Cassie Berry. And I guess just for reference, I'll show you all how. What it does is basically, it has to Phantom Force, right? So we Calm Mind up. And I'll show you at plus two, I think. Let's see. That's 35 at plus two. Even at plus three, still would have lived it. So Landers is in now, we side shock this. Yeah, it's gonna be GG. And um, that's exactly why we have the Kasi Berry. So because in case Dragapult gets out of hand, we're able to tank hits and stuff a lot better, a lot better. So we continue on. Glaceon's fantastic. I mean, you just love to see it put in work. First game, just absolute obliteration of that guy's, uh, I'll say, 
I don't know if I can really say semi stall. He had like one offensive mon. Tornadus was probably bulky with defog. We'll say it was stall. Glaceon, <laughs> Glaceon 6 0 stall. <laughs> Not 6 0 as in like six Pokemons left, but Glaceon literally destroying like <laughs> Pokemon after Pokemon. Ideally, we get like a Heatran matchup. You know, if we get like a Heatran, I would love to just Weather Ball it. This game's taking a while to load though. Hold up. What's going on here? Let's start. Let's try that again. Try that again. So far, so good. Glaceon, it's been a while since I've used. It's been... I think, was it 2016 I did a Glaceon video? I feel like it was probably 2016. Alright, there we go. Finally we got somebody. Sand versus Rain. Except he's got the Draco Zolt, so this is going to be a huge, huge threat. Ah, uh, this is going to be tough. Man. Alright, well. You already know what we got to do. Gotta leave with the Glaceon here. <laughs> Gotta leave with the Glaceon. Draco Zolt's gonna be a huge threat. I'm not prepared for that Pokemon at all. I've played around it though. Actually, I played around it. This one, this one guy who hacks me, was uh, getting outplayed at every twist and turn. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> he got scared. He got scared. I like it. This is probably rocks, right? Or maybe, maybe not. Could be rocks. Uh, gonna go Ferrothorn. And then what do I do? Could get my own rocks up. I could also Iron Head Chip. He goes Torn. This is fine. We have a Zapdos we can go into right now. Is he Heat Waves? I want to, um, I, mean, I have a Weather Ball, which is pretty cool. But I want to go Pelipper. And then I want to U-turn out of Pelipper into Hatterene, which is going to bounce back some stuff if he decides to go for anything else other than knockoff. Um, that's fine for now. All we do here is go Pharaoh. He also has Iron Head as well. So I could, I could go for my rocks here. He goes Draco Zolt. This is actually not bad at all. Because even Fire Blast is not going to do much. Oh, he subs. Oh, shoot. What does he have? Fire Spin? Um, so it looks like he's found a way to <laughs> to get through my uh, my Mon. I guess Knockoff is at least a chance to break the sub. Well, that's pretty decent. Maybe we got some low rolls then. Yeah, that Draco Zolt is a threat, but... Thankfully, it's been fairly neutered. All we do here is go for um, a flip turn into Glaceon. Um, Titar, probably not going to take it too well. Yeah, it does 22. Yeah, so what we do here is we could go Pelipper, but I don't, know, I don't want it to die or anything. Glaceon is looking really good, though. Versus his team, it's looking really good. Ah, uh, what to, what to sack? I go Pelipper. He rests. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna just go Glaceon here. So I think he's gonna be fast asleep. Let's Ice Beam. Get that big damage off. Iron Head Crit is very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Would have would not have wanted that to happen, but it happened. Can he give me a Mon? Yes, he can. Okay, cool. So Ferrothorn is gone, which means Bearskewda is also going to have some fun once Toxapex is gone. So this could be Rocks. This could also be Scarfed. Um, let's go Zapdos here. He Smackdowns. Goes Titar. I can just roost myself back to full, basically. I don't know if this Bolt Beak's going to knock me out, but it probably will. 
So we go hattering now. Able to live the hit, which is nice. Very nice. Landers is in. We go Pelipper here. Pelipper should be good versus this. So he's Smackdown. Sub Smackdown. Probably SD as well, right? Yep. But I think we'll we'll live this hit. We'll live this hit for sure. Yeah. And get rid of Landers, which is amazing. Now we just go into um into who? So Hattering could be still pretty useful. We could, in theory, go Zapdos here, but I'm not sure how much it's going to take. Do we need the rain anymore is the question. I don't think we need the rain anymore. Because we can we could probably just sack here. Then go into... um Probably Bear Scuda, right? Flip turnout of Toxapex. Which I think will be good. Yep. Go into... So Titar is at 74. Yeah, we can go Zapdos here. Go right for the Roost. So this thing is getting weakened. Turns asleep, zero. Right? So he's going to get chipped even more. Yeah, so now we go Hatterene on this. So th if this Titar stays asleep, we can win this game. Can definitely win this game. Yeah, so there's some chip right there. Now we go Zapdos here. I think Thunder is the play. I think it should 2 hit KO from this range. Yep, I think so too. We could play it safe and do 2 Weather Balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. So Titar being gone means that I think the Zapdos should do fine. Please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's crazy. So I got a sack bear Scuda. I just go right for the um, Aqua Jet here. Oh, that lived. I could have actually knocked it out. Yeah, so that's good. He defogs. He's going to definitely regen now. So we made the play there. Just go right for the Roost. Scald Burn shouldn't matter as long as we hit our uh, Thunders. We would have won this game a long time ago, but yeah, thankfully we, we won it now. And that's good. Ah, <laughs> not bad at all. So this was a nice game overall. We got to really see the weather war, the struggle between rain versus uh, sand. That Drake result was pretty nice though. Thankfully, he wasn't a more offensive set because that could have been a little scarier, but still being able to play around it was nice. And uh, we did. So continuing on here, on to the next one. And uh, we've seen Glaceon do fantastic things so far. Um, this guy's team is pretty weak to Glaceon, except for Scizor, of course. Um, what I want to do here is just lead with Glaceon. Look at this. Look at this. Yo, <laughs> hold on just a second. How much are we going to do to Scizor? Let's find out. Because if that Scizor is offensive, it's not going to take it well at all. Fiery Wrath, that's probably Specs. Yeah, gone. Galarian Moltre is destroyed by a Glaceon. So Scizor comes in here. All we do is we go into Ferrothorn. As Garchomp comes in. We go Hard Pelipper now on this. Oh, this is probably Rocks though. Um, What do we do here? Got to play around this a bit. Scale Shots. Gets all the boosts he needs. But at this point in time, he doesn't have a switch into Liquidation. So we can just Liquidate everything. Pretty safely. So he's going to have to sack something, which is good. Which is very, very good for us. I think we're going to be okay. So yeah, like he, likely he'll go Corviknight, sack that, then go... Dragapult to take a hit. So he has to sack something and go Dragapult basically. It's the only thing that could take a hit 
and do something back. Oh, Sack Scizor. Ooh, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. I will take that, gladly. The Dragapult's in. We just go into um, Ferrothorn here. As he Dragon Darts. I'm going to go Barrascuta now. I think double to Barrascuta should be a fine play. Nice. This works, I think, because we can now just flip turn out. Go into... Um, don't want to sack Ferrothorn because I think we need Coke. We need it for Coco. I think Glaceon can't take a hit from anything else anymore, right? So we go into that. Go Barrasquita now. Liquidation is our play. Yup, yup. Knock that out. So the only problem, the only big threat, I think, is going to be Garchomp. Coco is another big threat, but oh, I will gladly take this Pokemon from you, please, please. I don't know why he went into that. Because that Pokemon is gone now. Coco comes in here. Who do we not need? I can go Ferrothorn here. He screens? Oh, this thing is going to set up, isn't it? This Pokemon is going to set up. I have to knock off the uh, weakness policy, I think. Yeah, let's knock off. Yep, knock off the weakness policy. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go hard Zapdos. Hard, hard Zapdos. Drop a thunder. I like it, I like it. He gets the agility. We just need a paralysis, I think. Um, hmm. This is going to be a problem. Like I said, we need a Paralysis, 30%. I can go into Hadrian and Nuzzle, but I don't want to get more Agilities up. That'll be a problem. Alright, get a Thunder off. Ooh! Come on now, come on now. Come on now. Is Power Trip a contact move? I think it is. What is going on? This is like Focus Blast, isn't it? Dang, I thought I had this game. It's not over yet, though. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Avoided, avoided, avoided. He's going to make sure I have none left. Let's nuzzle this thing. Yup. Yup. If I even got one of those paras, we would have won this game probably. Okay, well, at least there's a chance now. Nah, because he has a Coco. Actually, no, there is a chance. There's definitely a chance. Yeah, there's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance. Ooh, his last. What's his last move? It's probably U-turn, right? Got the defense drop. Nice, nice. Ah, good game. I thought we lost this game. I thought we lost it, but indeed we have won the game, thankfully. Thankfully. Ah, oh. yeah, we definitely, we definitely deserved that one. Thought we played it all right. Probably could have paralyzed the Corviknight sooner though. But we take those. This is why, this is why you never quit the game early because you never know what's going to happen. A lot of things can happen between the second to last turn and the last turn. I think I'm just going to lead Pelipper. Get the rain up. Then go Ferrothorn here on a potential Bolt Strike. Um, ooh, final Gambit. That's tough. That's tough. So with Victini being gone, we go Barrascuta here and flip turn out. 
think flip turn is pretty safe. He stays in though, interestingly enough. I'm gonna go Pelipper. Ancient power. Ooh. That's heat. Let me flip turn out again into um that did a bit too much damage. That did a bit too much damage. That has to be offensive. Um, but Finny gone, which means that things are looking pretty decent. Bear skill is still at 100%, so that's good. Titar a huge threat though, for sure. Just weather ball for some damage there. Now we go into um, Pelipper to get the rain up. I don't think this is a Glaceon game at all. I think we have to go. Um, I think we have to go Glaceon here. Get the sack. Uh, I think I actually I'll Weather Ball in case he switches, but he doesn't, so that's good. So let me just liquidate this. He sacks Titar, and then I think we can win the game by going Pelipper. So three liquidations should win us the game. Yeah, Lando comes in. Although I don't know if um, this is sashed. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Good game, good game. Ooh, I'm getting nice and fortunate in this uh, in this video so far. I'm liking it. I am liking it a lot. Ah, not bad. What are we at right now? Let's see. Yeah, let's get a few more. Let's get a few more for this one for sure. Um, still got time. So we can definitely uh, try to get some games. Try to get some more games here. Um, this guy... This guy's team is kind of uh, kind of threatening. He's got some answers for Glaceon. But I am going to leave Glaceon anyways. Go right forward the Ice Beam turn one. Oh no, actually he could... Yep, 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 yep. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. So I'm gonna go Pelipper here. Yeah, I meant to I meant to go Hatterene on the first turn. So he knocks off, we get this thing burnt, which is nice. Very, very nice. Yep, bounce back rocks as well. That is gonna work just fine. So we're gonna combine up here, then I'm gonna go Zapdos. He actually U-turns out that turn, so that's pretty good. Pretty good for him. Um, here I'm just going to Weather Ball. And then go Ferret Thorn here. Yep, yep. Perfect. Then we can uh, double the Hatterene. And go right back into Ferret Thorn now. Yeah, nice, nice. So our Shifu comes out here. We go Pelipper to get the rain back up. He goes Kiram, so it takes 25. That's exactly what we want him to do. This uh, freeze dry looks very scarfy, but I think he specs because of Focus Blast doing that much. I am gonna close combat here as Landers comes in, so we can knock that out. Our Shifu comes out here. We go into um. Going to Pelipper here. That thing is banded as anything. Um, hmm, hmm. What to do? So what we could do potentially is if we could sack Hatterene, go back into Pelipper. That opens up the field for us to go Zapdos then. Mm, yeah, I think we have to do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Or we could even go uh, Zapdos now first. Actually, that's probably a better play. Because if we just hit our move anyways, that's good. Because then we don't have to sack Pelipper. We can we can sack it later. And he's forced to sack something now. So I think this is the play. Yeah, so Kiram gets sacked here. This is going to be nice. If this Hurricane is going to hit. Which, which it does, so that's gone. Uh, Mandibuzz, if this gets hit by a Thunder outside of the rain, then that's good. Yeah, that's amazing. Get the Paralysis as well. He foul plays, not doing much. 
We do want a roost to keep ourselves out of aqua jet range. Yep, and then weather ball should take this out. Oh, that doesn't even take it out. Crazy. Didn't need the rocks anyways. But now this is looking really nice because what we can do is sack Pelipper at this time. And then we can go into Zapdos here and Thunder to win the game. So I made the misplay turn one. I meant to go um, Hatterene, but we still came through. So that is nice. Let's Thunder here. As he's going to keep spamming Roost, but don't think that'll work. That's going to be game. So very nice, very nice. An excellent... Uh, an excellent game there for us, and we could probably grab maybe two more. So, so far doing well with this team, I think. Oh, we get the Heatran matchup. Ooh, I want to click that Weather Ball so badly. <laughs> I really do. Because if we do, that's going to be amazing. I think I've already clicked it once in this video, right? Pretty sure I have. But if there's any Weather Ball matchup, this is the one. This is definitely the one. Yep, so we got the Pelipper here. I don't think he's Thunder Punch. Yep, he does U-turn out, so that works. Tapu Fini comes in, we go Glaceon, and check this play out. We're going to Weather Ball here and hit up the Heechee. Yes! 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 <laughs> oh, the video is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see what he locks himself into. I'm going to go Pelipper here. Surging Strikes, that is probably Banded. Doubles to Rillaboom, which is a good play on his part. All I, got, all I got to do here is just go Zapdos on this thing. As he superpowers, that's not going to do much. We're going to go for the uh, Weather Ball here. Yup, hit up the Coco slot. Check this out. Look at that damage. That clean, clean damage. That looks offensive to me. I don't know if he's going to roost here or not, but we're going to go Ferrothorn. Or Shifu comes in. And all we got to do here is... Um, Set up rocks. Check this out. I'm going to stay in. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and take all that damage. He's choice banded too. GG. Good game. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a fantastic one. Look at all that text too. Yeah. Forfeit too. Yup. Yup. Ooh. Ooh. What a game. What an absolute game. So that was really cool to see. We got to, we got to see the, um, the good old, uh, what do you call it? The good old Glaceon Weather Ball. And, oh, that's that's just crazy. That's just absolutely crazy. I think we can get one more and um, win or lose, let's end it off on that. This has been a solid one. And I got to also get the next Kanto to the top ready as well. Uh, this person I think we played already. Um, I remember their thing was Final Gambit. Pretty sure we played them in this video, right? They look very familiar. Um, they lead Titar. I believe we are faster. So we are going to switch out here into probably Hatterene. Ooh, and we bounce back a T wave. Beautiful. I'm going to double out to Pelipper. As he goes into Landers. Yep, this works. I can Scald here as Titar comes back. Gonna U turn out once again. As Volcarona comes in, we're gonna go Bear Skuda. And we are gonna flip turn here. As Tapu Fini comes in, I believe this was offensive from when I last checked. Y'all wanna see the most fire play of all time? <laughs> Dang it, I thought he'd go Volcarona. I thought for sure he would go Volcarona. But now we're Choice Scarf, so we have 300 speed. That's actually not bad. That is actually not bad at all. Um, I want to go into... I do want to go Ferrothorn here. As Victini comes in. I think he's going to Final Gambit here, right? I think he's going to Final Gambit. Yep. Now I go Pelipper. <laughs> Had to make that sacrifice. So this Draco Zolt is going to be a problem, somewhat of a problem. Um, Bolt Beak is going to hurt, but I think we'll manage. T 
T-Tar is really weak right now. As long as we get damage on this thing, we're good. So I think the plan should be to... So we need Zapdos. I think Glaceon is... Uh, as the featured Mon, you know, Glaceon should be kept. Could go Hatterene. But then again, Hatterene actually looks like it can win too. Couldn't it? I might sack Glaceon here. I mean, we, we got the Weather Ball off of the last one, so I think it's fine to do that. Um, let's go into uh, Hatterene now. I believe it lives a hit, so we can just Draining Kiss here. Yeah, we do live. Nice. This thing is a threat, and pretty much eliminating it is definitely nice. Yeah, and that's gone. We can now go into Barrascuta, I think, or we can go into... Yeah, this thing is super weak, so we go Barrascuta here. He's forced to go T-Tar. Yeah, I think we win this game. I think we win this game. Because I see Liquidation, 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 all, all kinds of Liquidations. And I believe, if I remember correctly, this was not Focus Sashed. Unless he changed it just to find me again. <laughs> That would be kind of bad. But yeah, all we do here is we um we can just flip turn out. Set the rain up once again. And I think that's gonna be GG. It is MV, right? Pretty sure. Cause we uh you turn out here. Bring in Bear Scuda, liquidation a couple times. Yeah, but he burns me here too, though, which is annoying, but it is what it is. The cool thing is that because he tricked a Choice Scarf and took my Choice Specs, Zapdos is going to be faster. So we can Hurricane twice, I think, to win this game. And we, uh, we made it through a nice win streak in this one. Good lord. This uh, Glaceon is absolutely fire. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I don't know if this is a roll or not. No, this has to knock it out. This has to knock it out. <laughs> Just give me my win. I will gladly take this win. Yep, so that Pokemon is gone. Last is going to be the type of Finny. We can just thunder to win this game and end this video off with a bang. That's going to be GG. It's Envy. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. We got to really showcase Glaceon, I think, to its fullest potential. I got the Weather Ball turn that I really wanted to see, the, the one into Heatran. So that was fantastic. Probably going to tweet that out too. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for me. So... Like I said at the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite damage boosting item? I'd like to know. And um, feel free to let me know any Pokemon you might want to see in any future videos. I do take suggestions, of course, on uh, certain Pokemon, certain sets, unique ones, maybe ones that are not used before, things like that. So um, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you all as always. I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.